it, a lot goes into putting on this festival, and of course, it surrounds around rice. That's right, the rice industry. And we're going to take a look now. Trevor Sonia is joining us to look at rice production from farm to table. Yeah, and I'm from Crawley, and I'll be honest, I did not know how much goes into it. It's a very, uh, very hard process. It's a very long process. It's a very long journey. Let's take a look. The life of the rice starts with the life of the farmer. It's got to be something you love. Always hoping for the best. You got to have a lot of faith. A lot of faith in the weather. A full day is sometimes not enough. There's not enough time in a day most of the time. And you must be ready for anything. Every morning you wake up and uh, there's no such thing as planting a day. It's a year-round job. You plant the rice in, in March and April and you harvest the rice at the end of July into August. With two harvests a year. Second crop harvest anywhere from, uh, from October 1 all the way past Thanksgiving. But the work is so rewarding. We feed people all over the world. Half of our rice is exported. And after the rice is harvested, more work. We bring it into the grain storage facilities and we dry the rice down. And these storage facilities need to be very big. If you're capable of making a 50 barrel crop uh, and you got a couple thousand acres, that's 100,000 barrels of rice. A barrel of rice is 162 pounds. So you have to do the math on that. This equates to nearly 16 million pounds of dry rice this farm alone produces. The rice hits the truck. It's next stop, rice mills, like the Falcon Rice Mill in Crawley, where Cajun country rice is born. To me, rice is a staple uh, of the South. And they take in their fair share of dry rice. Uh, roughly about 600,000 pounds. They take all kinds. Long grain, medium grain, jasmine, and toro. But they sure don't mind. We're honored to be able to give people some quality rice uh, and, and get it to their store shelves. It's not that simple though. The rice has to go through many processes before it becomes the delicacy we all know and love. On first inspection, the moisture level has to be just right. Then it goes through the many steps of the milling process. It goes through a sheller that takes the hull off and then from there it goes into separation. The hulls, the half grains, and quarter grains, sometimes called brewers, are byproducts used for other applications, but these are removed before packaging. Thereafter, it's ready to be shipped out. These automated machines can produce up to 300 five-pound bags per minute, all overseen and made possible by the experienced workers of this third-generation owned Crawley Rice Mill. Wouldn't be where we are without what they bring to the table as well. Speaking of table, chicken stew will be on mine. I put my Cajun country rice in the microwave. In 15 minutes, it's ready to go. And there you have it, your rice's journey from the field to your kitchen table. I'm Trevor Saunier, KLFY News 10. Let's eat.